Hey guys, Max here. We're going to be doing the side quest with Dr. Voodoo. So we got him awakened and he's currently ranked two. So we're going to be going up against this Silver Surfer. He's sitting over 177,000 health and our Dr. Voodoo is only at rank two. But this fight's ideal for him. Um, obviously, it's class advantage, but the guy gets buffs. So the fact that he's going to be getting buffs is probably the best. And I just messed up. I kind of didn't play it perfectly, but we got the Bane transfer. And as long as he launches his special one, he should be able to pick up those buffs. But he's not going to launch it. So we're going to Bane transfer again. Perfect. So he launched it on power gain and we're gonna transfer hopefully just in time for the bane as well so we got three poisons on them not that many um that's okay we'll take that damage it's right under a thousand thousand dollars a thousand damage um oh we got bane on us we gotta be careful for that didn't realize so we're just gonna try to creep his uh special two out if he's not oh perfect block for you okay all right we're just gonna launch a special one again to transfer those into poison and bane and he's gonna die from the poison <laughs> so we didn't play this fight honestly the best but 31 hits to get this guy down not bad again the fact that he was getting a lot of buffs and we were able to transfer those into poison. And if you didn't know, I'll show you why that was happening. So special one. So on the special one, it says 50% chance to venom each of the opponent's buff, nullifying it and applying a poison dealing 6250 direct damage over 20 seconds. So that's super nice. Um, again, let's try this fight. Uh, this one should, it's not gonna go down as easy. Um, but let's let's give it a let's give it a world. Let's see how this works. We got a parry Start at the Bane um, And see if we can get him to special one Okay, he launches it perfect and he can attack transfer the Bane But uh, let's see if we can get um... Oh my gosh, he went unblockable Oh, we didn't transfer the pain there. Okay, now we can cut the pain transfer. Do a heavy and see if he's gonna launch it before he gets his special two. Good. And we're gonna launch our special two. Can we? Hmm. All right, can we? Yeah, we got the power burn. Perfect. So this is perfect setup right now for him. We able to control his power we're gonna launch a special one here too we got four lows on them and the perfect gain transfer so that puts over a thousand poison on them perfect we're gonna do a parry right into get a couple more hits if we can get a parry before the paint perfect And we're gonna do another special one to transfer more poisons. Oh, not enough. 1%. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so we got him down with the poison. How many hits was that? 61 hits. Again, double the amount of hits. Uh, and But still a very good fight. So here we're gonna be going up against Vision. Honestly, this fight, if we had again Mystic Dispersion, Vision gets a lot of buffs. So I don't know. Will we come out alive? Hey, we threw on a health pot just in case, because we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be taking um, cold snap damage. And oh, forgot he has tenacity. Uh, I was gonna retaliate there, and man, we need to get a parry. Okay, we got the parry. Let's see if we can work our way into a special one before he gets to his special two. And the bane's gonna transfer, so. Okay, can we nullify those buffs? Transfer them to poison. Perfect. As long as he launches special two, yeah, we'll block it. Not a problem. And transfer that bane. And we're gonna we're taking cold snap damage because we're in his face. But let's try to get away from it. Uh, let's back up. 
He's he's dying. <laughs> he's dying. No, that's a lot of <laughs> damage. Guys, this guy is dying because of the amount of poison he was taking. 23 hits to get this guy down. Man, I'm telling you, Dr. Voodoo is putting in work. He's very impressive here only at rank two. Um, he's got very low health. We're not going to use any health pots on this fight, but you get the idea, guys. You get the idea. Hopefully this helps you motivate the love back to Dr. Voodoo. There's so many great mystic champions currently in game. Black Widow being one of them. I think she's, um, I want, I can't. For some reason, I can't myself classify it a number one champion, but I feel that um, there's just good mystic champions and Clairvoyant, Black Widow is one of them. And Dr. Voodoo definitely deserves a slot in that role. But let's let's give it a world. Let's see how this goes. We're, we're not ideal. 38, you know, health. Um, let's see how this goes. Let's just see how much health we can take down from this guy. Um, and let's work our way back. See if, oh, see if he launches his special one. I'd rather launch him and launch a special one than a special two because I have to block the entire special two. That's perfect. And we're going to try to work our way to a special two ourselves so we can power control if possible this fight oh okay so we got the special two 26 combo hmm. if we can retaliate here we're not dealing too much oh i didn't back up enough and See if we can parry here perfect and can we convert one of those special ones to some poison we did but now he's at a special two which is not good we're gonna block a lot of it yep oh he intercept our dash looks like it was too i was too far out Oof. I thought I had the unblockable on me. So many fails. I think we could have done a good job at actually taking this fight down if I did not mess up there. But guys, you get the idea how kind of important Dr. Voodoo can be still relevant, even though this champion I believe was introduced 2016 or 17 um, into the game. Um, he is still very useful. Currently, it's 2021. At the end of 2021, November is when we're seeing him. I think October is where we saw him release in the arenas. Um, and November, we see him re-release. Um, or it feels... Or it might have been this month. I'm already forgetting my days here um, on when he came out. But you get the idea. He's been... He's an old champion. That's what I'm trying to say. And he's still useful i mean like look at the difference of clairvoyant obviously if you have clairvoyant she oh my gosh this guy went unblockable if you have her obviously she's op such a great champ to have but if you don't and you got dr voodoo that doesn't mean you're out of luck because you don't have clairvoyant you can still get this done just had to be careful there because he was going to go unstoppable. My goodness, the fight is lagging. But it's okay. We've learned, actually, crazy to think about it. I've learned to play with the lag. And basically, I just time the lag. I keep a distance. But if I'm in the corner and it's lagging, good night. So, there we go. We get, That's the beautiful thing about Claire. She's got regen. She's got power control. She's a great champion, but so is Dr. Voodoo. I mean, here you showcase two amazing mystic six-star champions, but I, I wanted to give a little bit of a showcase to Dr. Voodoo. You know, again, there's so many other fights we can put them up to work, but if you have yourself a five-star Dr. Voodoo or you got yourself fortunate to have a six-star, enjoy the champion. He's a good champion. It takes a little bit of skill, to master him just like in any other champion but he um 
is still a solid good champion to have part of your roster and if you can get him to rank three or higher eventually i think he would be good of course again keep in mind there's other great mystic champions but still dr Voodoo is good thumbs up on my books but guys hope you enjoy the small gameplay of dr Voodoo, and i'll see you guys in the next video peace